Grand Junction High School has always been kind of an icon because it's the middle of town. It was one of the first high schools built, you know, in the area. But it's been very clear to everybody it was time to upgrade it and really fix it and make it a much better building and more state-of-the-art. We had an election in 2017, a Mellon bond, and that was successful. And in 2019, we had a little bit of a setback and weren't able to pass that. But in a lot of ways, that truly set the foundation for what we were going to do in 2021 by winning by a landslide vote. Welcome to this wonderful day of celebration and new beginnings. We're so glad to see all of you here. Today is the culmination of just hours and hours of work from hundreds of people. What's exciting for me is to watch this whole thing come to fruition and see it really happening. And so this ceremony today is like, pinch me, we did it, we did it. It's gonna make such a difference for ages for so many kids. Breaking ground right now will be wrapped up with the school itself in July of 2024. Then when they get the kids moved in, we'll take a move over to the old school, get the abatement done, tear down the old school, and start working on all the new ball fields, fixing up the auxiliary gym, getting everything put back together. FCI has been a supporter of the School District 51 Foundation and the school district literally for years and years. They had done Orchard Mesa Middle School, which came in on time and under budget, which for our community are really important things. As a guy who's been in Grand Junction for you know, 21 plus years, to be able to build buildings for the students of our, of our community is huge. And, and just right in the middle of town, everybody's gonna come to it for a basketball game, for a theater, whatever it is. And uh, just pretty exciting to be a part of it. The current vision statement for the high school says where all students have an opportunity to pursue a challenging program of study and activities to develop their full potential. The old building fulfilled that vision. The new one will even carry that vision further. As soon as everybody uh, clears out of here, we're going to finish off the rest of it and get ready to start putting in foundations. And by 2024, we'll be back here again for a ribbon cutting.